finally let's look at what we do once we've rendered everything out and what we do is bring it into a compositing network which looks pretty complicated but uh, let's go back to the main take looks pretty complicated um, but in fact is achieving some pretty simple things let's change to the composite view so the first thing I do is bring in my box render which is just the box and you can see the effect of the matte shader there those are the trails of the box which are obscuring it and then I detect the edges of the box I color them in we blur them then we subtract that from the original box which in the meantime we've used a color correct node to darken and then we blend those two things together the effect of that's a bit clearer uh, when we come later on to composite that over the trails with the trails I bring in my render which just has the trails and we can see the effect of the motion blur here quite clearly I then blur the trails further and separately I brighten a copy of the trails and I'm just brightening the highlights here and then I'm blending the two together to create this effect of a glow around the trails and then we composite the two together like so finally I'm bringing in the reflections and I do that with that I blur them then I change the tint and darken them a little bit and separately I'm taking the alpha of the reflection plane and I'm creating a colored object which I'm then adding the reflections to which gives the colored background for the reflections and then finally I'm compositing the reflections underneath everything else so what we're getting is the box with a sort of cartoony outline effect the trails with some glow and some blurred reflected trails below and then we render it all out and that produces the final effect I should just mention that I enabled geometric motion blur for the trails because they're deforming their animation is not here at the scene level but within the node and we do that on the sampling tab where you enable geometry velocity blur and then on each of these render tabs I've set a property in the sampling node to allow motion blur so that's why we're getting this nice motion blur on the trails